everything's a dollar, so everybody leaves happy. Call it the dollar-ish store. At Dollar Tree, true dollar prices are a thing of the past. The discount giant is raising prices again, some items as high as $7. The company also announced sister brand Family Dollar will close nearly 1,000 stores starting this year. Tell me the truth. Are you still going to be shopping at Dollar Tree when prices raise to $7 an item? Shoppers taking to social media to complain about higher prices. Yo, at this point, I am just so sick of everything. Okay, change the name. Wealthy Tree. Fortune Tree. In a call with investors last week, the company said to expect a $5 bag of dog food next to a $1.25 bag of pet treats, calling it a multi-price assortment. The reason? A combination of inflation and an influx of higher income customers who can better afford it. Why are people who are making $100,000 a year or more shopping at a dollar store? So there's a lot of price pressures that are impacting consumers. They're going out to buy goods and services and looking for places to cut. It's been a few years since things were actually a dollar at the dollar store. After 35 years in 2021, a dollar minimum price became $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Now, over 300 new items will range from $1.50 to 7 bucks. Other famously cheap deals also undergoing recent changes. Trader Joe's raising single banana prices from 19 to 23 cents. And what about that $1.50 Costco hot dog and soda combo? According to Axios, an outgoing Costco executive says proof of membership will soon be required at some outdoor food court locations. At dollar stores, the most likely price hikes will be on food, pet supplies, and personal care items. Once you have the, con the consumer in the door, they are going to make that purchase. More than a pretty penny for many cash-strapped families. All right, so when it comes to deciding between a trip to the grocery store or to the dollar store, think about what you're planning to buy. Canned goods, for example, might be cheaper on sale at a regular grocery store, but for household items like maybe baby wipes or, or diapers, a dollar store may be the better bet. Mm. And, you know, the big box stores, a lot of them are really doubling down on their store brands because they know there's all these mm. demographics who yeah. want cheap, and so they want to make sure that they have a lot of price points. I love the store mm. brand. Yeah. I do find it interesting that you, you put out in your, your story there that the largest demographic, growing demographic, are yeah. folks who make, actually make a fair amount of money. Make $125,000 or more a year. And so that's why they're having this multi-price assortment, because they've got a customer who can afford higher yeah. price mm -hmm. things. Mm. But for the people who really are chasing cheap all the time, they're like, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like $7. Correct. I come here for a yeah. dollar. Yeah, exactly. It's right. in the name. It's in the name. <laughs> thanks, thank Christine. You. The buck stops it. there. Okay, thank you. Well done. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.